Hey booktubers and soon to be Dune fans, it's Lisa here. Last night I just finished my first read of Dune by Frank Herbert and I will say the first chapter I struggled. I thought I'm not going to understand this book. It's going to be 600 pages of me not understanding a single thing way over my head. And by the end, it was probably, it could quite possibly be my favorite book. So I wanted to share with all of you seven tips that helped me turn my frustration around and enjoy Dune. Shall we make a start? In the very first chapter, we are immersed in a brand new world. This is a world where the characters have multiple names. Sometimes they're called by their first name, sometimes their last name, sometimes both names. We have different planets, we have made up words, we have made up items. It is a lot to take in. There's a history. And I remember opening the first few pages and it was like deja vu. Earlier in the year, I had picked up Lord of the Rings. I read the first couple of pages and I was lost. I was in over my head. I didn't even know what a Hobbit was. So I put it down and I ended up reading The Hobbit first and then going back and picking up Lord of the Rings after I read The Hobbit. So when I picked up Dune and I started reading it for the first couple of pages, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just like Lord of the Rings, but there's no Hobbit to introduce me to Dune. I'm in trouble and I was very intimidated and thought I'm going to spend 600 pages wasting my time being bored, confused, and not have a clue what's going on. So tip number one is leverage the audiobook. So Amazon has a really, really, really great performance that they put together. And when I mean performance, they actually have different people for the different characters because in the first chapter when I was reading I didn't know the characters that well and they would just have quotations but I didn't even know who was speaking how would I I don't know these characters well enough to know is this even something this character would say or not when they had multiple characters in one room and they're all talking there's just quotations okay who's even talking so it was much easier to follow along when I had the audiobook because they did the voices and the accents so you could kind of, t you had a better understanding of, oh, this character is talking versus this other character. Also, it really helped a lot with the pronunciations. Again, there's a lot of made up words, planets, objects, whatever. If you read Dune and even if you loved it and understood everything in it, then you want to go talk about it. For me, I would be concerned that I was be mispronouncing all these made up words and look like a fool because I didn't pronounce things correctly. So at least with the, audio, the, with the audiobook, I had a better understanding of how to pronounce the words and hopefully discuss the book a little bit more intelligently. So I thought the audiobook was, was really awesome. It was a great performance. Even if you don't have a hard copy, I would highly recommend the audiobook by Amazon. I don't know. I haven't um, listened to the audiobooks that are free or maybe floating around out there. So, but I, I do really stand by the audiobook from Amazon. And for the most part, the book was complete with the audio. There was, I think, maybe one and a half pages that were in the book that were not read out loud through Amazon, but for the most part, the copies were complete because I followed along in the book. My second tip would be, if you're not opposed to it, this is just my suggestions, keep in mind, would be to watch the movie trailer. So maybe you've been living under a rock, but there's going to be a new Dune movie it is currently scheduled to come out October 1st of 2021. And um, it's awesome. By the way, the trailer's awesome. But it's really good, especially if you don't have the audiobook. It'll help you pronounce some of the names correctly, some of the planets, some of the made up things. And especially if you're not a visual person, 
you'll be able to at least start matching up some of the the faces with the, with the names and just try to orient yourself and understand what's going on, who are all these characters, and be able to visualize it a little bit better. And I also don't think the trailer gave away, the trailer didn't give away very much. If anything, most of the trailer was from chapter one. So don't feel like if you see the trailer, you're gonna, you know, understand the whole book and the whole movie. No, that I think you'll be you'll be safe watching the trailer. Tip number three: Don't be afraid to if you feel uncomfortable or out of your element, you might want to go back. You might need to reread some of the sections. I did find myself with some of the terminology. You know, where is this coming from? Was it this character that they were mentioning? Because like I said, sometimes they call the characters by their first name, their last name. So, and there's so many characters that sometimes you will have to go back and reread. Keep in mind, this is my first reading of Dune. Some people have read Dune, you know, 15 times. There is, this is the first book in a series of six. And then there's three books that make up the prequel. So nine books in all, if you consider the, the three books that were the prequel. So you might be comparing yourself to other people who have a vast knowledge of Dune. Don't do that. You know, you might have to go back and that's completely okay and acceptable. Tip four, there are tools in the book, at least in the copy that I have of Dune, there is an appendix and there's a glossary and there's some maps and I'll show you that. So this is the copy of Dune that I have. It has in this corner, it's a soon to be a major motion picture. I'm not sure if these, if there's the same tools in all the versions of Dune because I've seen other covers. So just to let you know a heads up, I'm not sure on the other books, other copies of the books. So this is the appendix, which has some tools at the back of my version of Dune. The first one, this is the ecology of Dune. This one is the religion of Dune. This is report on Bene Gesserit motives and purposes. This is the almanac in Asharif selected ex excerpts of the noble houses. And then this is terminology of the Imperium. So this is like a glossary for some of the words that are unique to this book. You can look them up and if you're confused and see the definitions. And then there are a few other little tools here in the book. If you're interested, there's these cartographic notes and there is this map. And there is an afterword by Brian Herbert, which is the son of the author, Frank. Tip five, if all else fails, move past it. What do I mean? If you come across a line in the book that you don't quite understand, just move past it. If it's important, it'll come back up again, but there are so many different plots and subplots in Dune you're not gonna understand all the nuances on the first read unless you really, really read it slowly, carefully, take your time, and even then, I think you'd probably still miss something. Um, you know, and that's okay, that's okay. You can still enjoy this book without understanding every single nuance in this book. I mean, I read it, I loved it, and then I, I went online to like see what other people were saying. And somebody had this whole treatise on this line that I kind of just glazed over. You know what? That was fine with me. I still love the book. You know, there was something still meaningful for me in this book. So I would, you know, really encourage you don't give up. If you don't understand everything, it's fine. Tip number six, read at a steady pace. What I really mean by that is this book, it, the book, the edition that I have is almost 600 pages. It's more than 600 pages. I read this relatively quickly, so within this span of a week, I read this book and I loved it. It was really page turning. It was one of those books that I was like reading on my lunch hour, you know, every free second I was reading this book. And I felt that really helped me. There's a lot of subtle foreshadowing in this book. 
So if you read this book over a six month time frame, if something happens early in the book, by the time it's the end of the book, you're going to be confused. You're going to say, who's that character? I don't even remember that. So I do say, I think it's important, at least on the first go, instead of trying to get every single word and every single meeting and every single nuance and looking up everything, I would try as much as you can to clip along at a good pace just so that you can bring it all together at the end because if you read such a long book over a really long time frame, you're just naturally going to miss or not remember things that happened in the past. So I would encourage, my, my suggestion is try to read it not in one day but relatively quickly just so that you can remember you know, all the little nuances as they're fresh in your mind. And last, but certainly not least, my last tip, be kind to yourself. Dune is a very complicated. There's a lot of super fans out there who are very, very knowledgeable. And it's okay if you don't pick up on every single nuance and understand all of the history and all of the religion and all the things they talk about in the book. It's okay, you can still enjoy the book and not understand every single thing that's going on. Just try to enjoy, there's a lot of action involved, a lot of unexplained things or unexpected things. So just enjoy and I, if you enjoy all things books and brutally honest book reviews, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and Share with me in the comments what your tip is if it didn't make the list. I'm Lisa of Troy. Peace.